What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the first ever episode of NBA Talks with Dave. We're gonna get right into it. Um, if you don't know, let me just give you a little um, background. Uh, uh, you know, this is this is gonna be like, you know, I don't know if you guys watch First Take with Stephen A. Smith from Undisputed with Skip Bayless. You know, we're gonna be one of those type TV shows, well, one of those type of, uh, you know, one of those type of shows. You know, but for YouTube and you know. It's one person, so it's more so going to be like the Stephen A. Smith show or, you know, the Colin Cowherd show. You know what I'm saying? More so, but because it's one person. But anyway, let's get right into the news of the NBA. Um, Amir Johnson um, got in trouble, you know, for uh, checking his phone and game. He got fined for that. Um, he said he was checking up on his sick daughter. Um I don't know. The whole thing is weird, you know, because people kept saying, like, it's not weird, it's just simple, but, like, people kept saying, well, he wasn't even playing, he was unactive. Why he just didn't go on the back? Uh, and that's one thing I can't tell you. Why was he even at the game? That's a real question. I mean, you, I understand you there to support your brothers and shit, but, you know, it's game one, not game seven. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you do it really sick, you should probably be with her. And then you're not playing, you know what I'm saying? If it was Joel, that's a little different because Joel actually playing. You know, I don't feel like he should got fined though. Um, I don't know. The whole thing is stupid. Brett Brown is a stupid ass coach too. So it's just everything is just yeah. Um, second on the list, Sixers. Are we talking about Amir Johnson? Talking about the Sixers? They lost to the Nets one eleven to eighty two. Now the thing about this loss is um, the Sixers played bad. So I do have the Sixers winning and five. Like, I know, right? Five, yeah. Like, I mean, the Sixers play terrible. I don't see this happening again. And they only lost by... Uh, they lost by a lot. They lost by a lot. But, you know what I'm saying? Uh, My fault. I said the wrong score. I said 82. I meant to say 102. That's why. I know something. I'm like, oh, no, they didn't lose by that much. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's my fault. The score was 111 to 102. Uh, the Nets beat the 76ers. Uh, with that being said... Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. I, I do find the Sixers going to win because, again, let me tell you something. The Sixers, Tobias Harris played 41 minutes to score four points. Jim, JJ Reddick, he only scored five points. Mike Scott played 32 minutes to score three points. You see that happening again? I'm a Sixers fan, so I actually don't see that happening again because I know... They don't usually do that, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, <coughs> I, I, you know, I don't expect that, you know, JJ average is 18, you put up five points. That's not, you know what I mean, so I feel like once, you know, they got them, you know, once they uh they go into it. Um, Next on the list, we got the Spurs winning the Denver, 101 to 96. Now, I actually have the Spurs winning the whole series. Um. I just do, you know what I mean? It's nothing, no shade at the Denver Nuggets. I think the Denver Nuggets are a bad basketball team, and I'm going to tell you why. They have a really good award record because they got a home court advantage that no other team has. And then they got a really bad, I mean, a really good home record, but they got a really bad road record. I mean, the road record was like 16 and 17, 16 wins, 17 losses last time I checked. So they like negative, or they like 500. I mean, I'm not sure what it ended with because that was the last time I checked. So it might it, it might have never been there. It might have been like sixteen. It might have been like seventeen, sixteen. But regardless, it's not good. It's not it's not like they went they home. They like at home they probably like twenty six and six or something like that. They really good at home, you know what I mean? So way not good. So I don't expect them to win. I'm not saying they're gonna get swept. I don't know. But I do i I'll be surprised if the Spurs lose. I do have the Spurs to win the series. Um, you know what I mean? Next on the list. Magic uh, versus the Raptors, uh, 100, 104 to 101. Um, again, I don't see the Raptors losing again. I mean, Kyle Lowry scored zero points. Do we expect him to do that again? I know people say he choked, but how many times he scored zero points in the playoff game? None. This is the first time. Okay. So, I don't expect that to happen again. Kawhi's on the team. Dan Green's on the team. I expect them to win. I'm not saying they're going to win in five, but I wouldn't be surprised if they win in five. Because a lot of these games, it just was like setting that shit. This shit not going to happen again. You know what I mean? So, um, 
On to the next one. Clippers lost to the Warriors 121 to 104. Um, I ain't got to talk about that. Curry played the hell of a game. He led the NBA in three pointers when he made the threes. Uh, and like he first ever in playoffs. Um, not really be surprised about that Stephen Curry. If you're surprised, then I don't know. <laughs> Luke Walton. All right, let's take a break. I mean, let's get to uh, we get the Sunday game. Let's get this. Luke Walton was fired and hired through the weekend. I mean, dude got fired Friday. Got a new job on Saturday. Like <laughs> I said, he got fired by the Lakers. You don't know he works for the SmackDown. He's the head coach for the Kings. He is the coach. You know, it was like if you don't know, is is it happened yet? Yeah. Because you know, it wasn't a meeting or nothing. They hired him. Yeah, he hired. He didn't do coach to the Kings. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and, and a lot of people, let me get this, a lot of people were saying they're going to do bad because a lot of people think Lou Walton is a bad coach. And I don't want to question your NBA knowledge, but he's not a bad coach. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to question your basketball knowledge, but he's not a bad coach. Or the Kings won't have hired him. You know what I mean? He would have got a, I, and that's what I was saying. I was like, he's going to get a job as soon as he get fired. I want him on my team. Brett Brown sucks. I'm, I'm a Sixers fan, but I'm, Brett Brown sucks. I want I want him on my team. I want him to coach my team. You know, a lot of people don't understand they had a good coach. You got to understand they had injuries. They was fourth seed before, they, uh, before everybody, everybody went out. Everybody uh, got injured. You know, they finished the season without um, – out. His substitutions is questionable, you know, but I don't know. I th I, maybe he just don't respect certain players. I don't, I don't know because, you know, I feel like Amir – not Amir Johnson. Um, what's the dude name? Andre Ingram. When they bring him in off the 10-day contract, he should have been got some more playing time. But, you know, he's a G League player. But last year, he did pretty good. So, I don't know. I feel like he got some more time and really show what he can do. And then maybe, you know, sign another 10-day contract. But it didn't happen. So, and then, you know, Magic or Rob Palenka traded away to center. Mozgov, that's the name, right? Or Zubat, one of them players. That was stupid, but he's a really good coach, and Kings are lucky to have him. Trust me. And I know a lot of people be saying, "Oh, they're gonna do bad." No, they're not. They're gonna make the playoffs next year. I guarantee you that. I get. Cause I wanna bet anything. You can bet anything with me. They're gonna make the playoffs next year. Uh, next on the list, Greg Popovich. Pats. Uh, yeah, he's the um. He passes. You know, uh, the coach he was tied with for the most coaches in NBA history. I mean, most wins in NBA history. Um, I forgot the numbers. Should have definitely wrote that down. But he passed it. He is most wins of all the time. Greatest coach of all time, my personal opinion. He don't have the championships like Phil Jackson. But, I mean, Phil Jackson played with MJ and Kobe. But you could also argue he made MJ and Kobe who they were. Man, it's, uh, okay. you could argue that. You could argue he got really good player development and got the best out of the best of these players. Go argue that and say he is a better coach because he got the best, or you could say he's not the best coach because he played with great players. Did he get him that great? We'll never know. They wasn't no. Uh, Kobe came out of high school. MJ went to college, so you know what I mean. It wasn't like it was second round picks. I mean, MJ was a little late, but I don't know. It was like you know they was like really no really bad plays and they got drafted. But um, anyway, Rockets beat the Jazz one hundred twenty two to ninety. Um, that's what I expected. Harton did his thing. They uh they played a different type of defense on Harton that I seen in the regular season, but it did not work in the playoffs. You know he's left handed, so if you if you if you if you in front of him, right, all he could, he could just easily step back. You know, because he gonna step back to his left. You know, well, we step back to his left, right? Because he left handed, so he easily gonna step back. Or even if you to his right, if you to his right, he could just drive because he left handed. It's easy. You just all you gotta do is it's easier for him because he's left handed to get a shot off. So they went to his left because he's left handed, so he can't get that shot up because he gotta push off with his left arm. So he was on the right dribbling the ball. But it was too easy because when he on his left, you give him a clear lane to drive, and all he was doing was driving, and they got what do you go back? A great defender, right? But when you got Clint Capella to just throw the lob to and throw it in there, you get one twenty two to ninety. Yeah. Uh, Bucks beat the Pistons one twenty one to eighty six. Um, also, I got the Rockets winning that series. By the way, uh, I got the Bucks winning this series. Um, I want the Pistons to win. I don't like Giannis. <laughs> you know, what I said I'm not a fan of Giannis, but he is staying out there, and he definitely got the win. So let's respect him. 
Uh, Blazers beat OKC. Uh, I got OKC winning the series, or had OKC winning the series. After this first game, it really changed my mind. I'm still, I'm, I'm rooting for OKC. I just, it's the difference between wanting them to win and thinking they can't actually win. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I mean, Blazers, whew, they play good. Uh, it's just like, it's just like you had to look at, you got to look at the things, the negative, the bad things the team did and see if that can carry on. Now, I believe the Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Oklahoma City Thunder shot really bad from the three, which won't happen again. You know what I mean? That's why you got to look for trends and stuff like that. Like, I'm not doing that again. They never, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's, that's not a regular thing. Now, let me, uh, before I even, you know, say anything, let me make sure, let me check, let me, uh, make sure I know my facts. Now, the game was good scoring-wise. Um, the game was good scoring-wise, right? Um, Westbrook had 24, 10, and 10. He had a triple double. And his cannon had 20, 18. One of the things, right, when they were, um, they said they got injured, they kept saying, like, oh, they, they, they made his might be injured. I'm telling you right now, they center would not have made a difference. They said, I mean, and his cannon dropped 20 and 18, 20 points, 18 rebounds. It does not matter if they had the center or not. That dude, I can't even say his name. It, just was it Joseph or something like that? I don't know. But listen, it don't matter, bro. They was not gonna win nothing with him. Like, bro, he don't matter. I know they try to snow, bro. Cause I know they do the pick and roll. No, no. No. He he, he, <laughs> he No bro. He, he does nothing. He does nothing. Um <clears throat> What's next on the list? Next on the list is the last game. Celtics beat the Pacers. Um eighty four to seventy four. This was a low scoring game, one of the lowest scoring games in NBA playoff history, I'm assuming. And definitely in recent years. 74 points, 84 points to max. Credit the defense. Credit the defense. Credit the defense. Or credit, you know, in a bad offensive nights. I don't know. Whichever you want to credit. Um Celtic came out, took the win. Pacers was up. I'm rooting for the Pacers to win. I think the Celtics was gonna win though. Uh this the Pacers was up, you know, like halftime, but then um I wasn't even actually watching the game. I wanted to watch the game, but I had to leave my room so I sent some work to get done in there, get in the room, you know, like some work done over there. Um, I don't know if I really care to show y'all, but so I wasn't in there, so I wasn't watching the game. I went, I left my room and you know let the dude do it, do his thing. So I didn't actually watch it. I know he came downstairs and said Celtics up by sixteen. I'm like, whoa, what? You know what I'm saying? I'm like yo, I was they was just down by like eight. What the fuck? Well, I was upstairs and came down like sixteen. I'm like, oh man. So uh, that's what happened with that. Um, I do have the Celtics winning that series. Uh, this is the first episode of NBA Talks with Dave. We're gonna be talking about all the games, all the trades, all the rumors, all that good stuff. Just the first episode, so I don't make it too long, and I want to discuss everything pretty much. Um, make sure you check out the channel for more. Episode one. We're going to do 10 episodes to see how we do. If we don't do well in 10 episodes, we will cancel the series. But if we do well, we'll drop 11. Episode 11, 12, 15, 14, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to do 10 episodes, do a trial one, see how we do. Monday to Friday, 10 a.m., upload it, check YouTube. I'm going to have you guys the next one. I'm out. Peace. Gang.